In Atlanta's Midtown District, near the city's new Truist Stadium, business owners like Alfonso Cross are trying to figure out how they'll make up for the loss of the All-Star Game. Anytime thousands and hundreds of thousands of people swarm into the city, um, that certainly, you know, trickles itself down into our tiny little neighborhood, and, and we see the, the economic benefits of that. Georgia State Representative Misha Maynor says it's not just restaurants and nightclubs that will suffer, but residents who rent out their homes to baseball fans, too. When you're talking about people that can't pay their mortgage, a lot of people were putting their homes up for short-term rentals. They can rent their home for $400 a night, um, and when you take that into a whole week, that's $3,000 that they just didn't have before. While Maynard says the new voting law restricts access for people of color, she says the economic impact of decisions like the MLBs will hit hard, too. Georgia's Governor Kemp continues to defend the election law he signed, saying it does not disenfranchise voters and that organizations like MLB have succumbed to the pressure of activists and, in turn, hurting the people of Georgia. I don't appreciate the position they've taken. They could simply stand up and have some backbone and tell the activists that are putting money in their pockets while hardworking Georgians are getting hurt. They didn't have to do that. 150 miles east in Augusta, the Masters Golf Tournament is underway and business is booming. We're really excited. The energy in this town um, during Masters Week is something you can't describe. We've seen a good, a good increase this week, um, probably to the tune of 60 to 75 percent. The Masters, as expected, dismissed calls to boycott Georgia. Governor Kemp cheering Augusta National's decision not to take a side on the state's election law. I personally applaud the Masters for not getting involved in politics. They haven't done that when we had Democratic governors, and they're not doing it. Uh, since we've had Republican governors. While relocating high-profile sporting events in response to political issues has a long history here in the U.S., the NFL in 1993, the NBA in 2017, the PGA moving next year's championship out of Trump's Bedminster golf course, residents and businesses, even many Democrats here, say the unintended financial consequences are hard to overlook following the pandemic, especially as some events, like the Masters, play through. Shep. Seema, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.